Okay, this is a good one. I've been I've been ready to talk about this. All right. San Diego, we've all heard that it's a magical place to live. People move from all over the world. And yes, it is great. I will say I love it. And this list was hard to create because I'm a little biased. I love San Diego and I rave about it to pretty much everybody. But in today's video, we're going to talk about the top things that people do not like about living in San Diego. I would do a pros and cons because I think there's more pros than cons, but let's just focus on the negatives, right? Because nothing is perfect. It can't be. Well, unless you move to San Diego. Nope, nope, I'm getting off topic. Okay, we're talking about the top things that locals do not like about living in San Diego. We're gonna get after it right now. about San Diego and surrounding areas so you can live like a local. Make sure you subscribe and tap that bell to be notified so you can be first to learn about the market here in San Diego, California. My name is Jamie and my team and I help people from all over the country invest and relocate in real estate in San Diego. So whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email because we are happy to help you make that move to the best city in California. But is it the best city in California? Now I'm not too sure. I guess we're gonna have to find out after I go over the top six reasons why people do not like living here in San Diego. So if you are coming, if you're a local to California, and I say local to California, the state's ginormous, but if you are from California, most of these on the list, it's not specific to San Diego. It really is a statewide issue for most of the big cities. So think San Francisco Bay Area, um, LA, Orange County. So it's not just San Diego, but it's mainly for most of the big metropolitan areas in California. Okay, so first on the list we're gonna talk about is the homeless population. So this is a touchy subject. The last couple of years, the homeless population has really exploded all over California and San Diego has just seen a huge hit and it's really disheartening. It's hard to see people living on the streets. Now there are specific areas where it is worse than others. So you're going to find it a lot in the gas lamp and East village, which are both part of the downtown San Diego area. And you also see it in places like beach cities. So ocean beach, uh, Pacific Beach, those areas. So just be weary. There are a lot of people that are, live on the streets. I mean, Tent City, I believe, has its own zip code at this point because there are some streets that you will go down and it is just row of tents. But San Diego has seen this. I think COVID really hurt a lot of people. It affected people in different ways, whether it be good or bad, but a lot of the negatives we do see as a result from COVID are people who, uh, with mental illness or have created addictions, lost their homes, whatever it may be. I have lived in Little Italy, which there are homeless in Little Italy as well. I wouldn't say there's such a big uh, population of them as compared to other areas, but I've never encountered anything negative. Uh, they really, they keep to themselves. So I wouldn't be necessarily weary or scared or anything like that. These are just people that they do not have a roof over their head or they are suffering from some sort of mental illness. So I wouldn't say that I've ever felt in danger by any means. You know, we're all sharing this world together. Some people have a roof over their head, some people don't. And that is just it is what it is. Okay, number two, uh, it's crowded, but California is a very crowded state. We do know this. Uh, the city of San Diego has 1.4 million people, and that makes it the eighth largest city by population in the entire country. And the county of San Diego has over 3 million. I believe it's, uh, let me see in my handy dandy notes over here. Hmm, 3. 
three million residents in the county of San Diego. And the San Diego County is the fifth largest county in the United States. So it is crowded. I recommend you always make reservations for dinner or brunch or lunch, wherever you're going, call, make a reservation. If you don't, you will be waiting to be seated. And it really does depend on where you're going, but a lot of the metro areas, think downtown, any of the beach communities, um, Hillcrest, North Park, any of those areas, they're, they're huge for dining. And then another thing, speaking of the crowds, you're gonna, there's gonna be lines. A lot of what you do, there's going to be people around you all the time. There's the farmer's market in Little Italy on Saturdays. When I first moved here, I was so excited, and I still am, because the farmer's market is like right out my doorstep. And my first time I went to the farmer's market, I went uh, around noon, so it closes at 2 p.m. And at noon, guess who's there? Everybody. Everybody was there at noon, and I brought my dog, and I had to like hold her close because there was so many people, it was hard to get through. And this is this uh, farmer's market spans about six blocks, and it is there's hundreds of vendors. And let me tell you, it is a big old crowd. So that's gonna happen everywhere you go. Summertime, the beaches, crowded. Summertime beaches though, you have people from all over the world coming and vacationing in San Diego, but you gotta plan for it, right? You have to plan and, and know that depending on where you're going, uh, oh, La Jolla Shores, um, the, the, all those areas get extremely crowded. But I think in a lot of California, you think of Los Angeles, you think of the San Francisco Bay Area, any big city in California has a massive amount of people. But we're gonna lead into the third thing on my list and that is traffic and parking. All right, I had to throw parking in there because I believe it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty big deal. Traffic's bad. <laughs> Is it a parking lot uh, on noon on a Saturday like LA? No, it's mainly commuter traffic. So think uh, 7 a.m. to about 9, and then 2 p.m. to about 6:37. So it really is during those commuter hours. If I sit on traffic on the weekends, there's an accident. If I'm sitting in traffic at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday, there's mostly an accident. So yes, the traffic is really bad and depending on how far you're going, a lot of people will work in, let's say downtown San Diego and they live in Chula Vista, okay? So without traffic, that drive should take you about 15 minutes, but that, the five freeway heading south to get to Chula Vista is stop and go. Stop, it's slow, it's really slow. So commuting can be, uh, it's, it's, it could be tough, it could be really tough, but the county is ginormous and there are a lot of options on where to live. So I always say, where are you working first? Let's figure out where your, where your job is and then let's base where we're gonna get you a house within a certain amount of miles around your job and then you know there's workarounds and stuff. And so parking, parking is tough. A lot of areas are metered parking depending, so there will be paid parking in a lot of areas, think Hillcrest, Paid parking, downtown Gaslamp, it's kind of an obvious one, paid parking. Uh, beach communities, paid parking. So expect if you wanna go to Pacific Beach and you're like, there's barely any parking at Pacific Beach, it's kind of a tough one. You go to the parking garage, you're like, oh sweet, I got a spot right here. You go to check out and she goes, this is a story, <laughs> in my experience. She goes, $50 and I said, 15? Or did you say 50, ma'am, or 15? 15 sounds a lot better. She said 50. I said $50 for a parking spot for like, yeah, it was like six hours or so. Yes, parking at parking garages in downtown, around $30 to park. I always say Uber is your best friend, depending on where you're going and if it's really available to you, right? If you're lugging along beach equipment, then you're not gonna get an Uber. But then if you're going to do that, have a beach day, then I would recommend leaving at, oh, 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> mm. This is a really bad addiction, by the way. So parking, paid parking in most areas, La Jolla, Pacific Beach, downtown San Diego, even Hillcrest. You know, there's parts in North Park. You gotta pay. You gotta pay to play. That's that's just what it is. You gotta pay to play. Okay. 
Uh, fires. So let's talk about fires. California has wildfires. Most of the county is dry. We have dry heat. We've had we've been in a drought for years. This year, 2023, it was like Noah. We needed like Noah's Ark this year. It was nuts. But San Diego did not have it as bad as our cousins up north or even in LA. They got hit really hard. San Diego didn't experience any massive floods, anything like that. So for anybody that was that lives in California, that lived in those parts during those storms that we had in the beginning of the year. And I hope that you didn't experience any damage yourself to your house, your car, any loved ones, because I would see it on the news or on social media and it just looked absolutely terrible. California just doesn't have the infrastructure for that much rain. And we need more dams. We like our reservoirs. Come on, California. Anyway, so fires. When we're buying a house, we wanna make sure that we look to see if you're in a high fire hazard zone. If you are in a high fire hazard zone, know that you are, you're gonna to have to have fire insurance, but you're also gonna to have to have a, a fire inspection where they come out and they just ensure that you're, you're good to go. You get the green light, like you have everything that you need. There's a law that you need a 100 foot defensible fence around your property if you are in these high fire hazard zones. So it really just depends on where you're located. But there are a lot of canyons throughout the county. So a lot of high fire hazard zones all crisscrossed through San Diego County. So something that we wanna take into consideration, especially when you're trying to decide on where you want to live, where you wanna buy a home or rent a house, whatever it may be, let's take fires into consideration. We wanna make sure that at the end of the day, you you know that you're safe, but there are work, there are things that we could do to protect you and your home if your home is located in a high fire hazard zone. So there you go. State tax. Now this is not just for San Diego, it's the whole state of California, but California has the highest state tax in the country. And it is high, my friends, it is high. <laughs> Being a self-employed individual, I, it's really hard to write those checks every year. Say, just take my money and then not necessarily see where your money's going. I would like to know that there's not potholes all in the roads. Like you, sometimes you drive at various parts of California and you're baffled because you're like, this isn't right. We are supposedly in the most beautiful state in the country, which I, I do love where I live. There's a lot of issues here that need to be resolved. And there's a lot of money that the state has and the state gets from us. And I think a lot of California residents, they, they do have issues because they don't necessarily see where the benefits are, where their money's going, and what they're using it for. So yes, very high California state tax. People say, you know, you pay, you pay to, there's a reason why you, it's so expensive to live in California. And I get that. I'm born and raised, been in California, all over California, Northern, Southern California, been here my entire life. I love California. I actually thought about moving out of California two years ago during the pandemic when everybody was having like those like aha moments, those awakening times where you wanted to like make a change in your life. Well, I was part of that group and I considered moving out of California. And when I did my research, my number one question was, where can I find a place that feels like California, which really isn't counterintuitive because why would you want to move out of a place to find a place that's similar to where you're moving? That just doesn't make any sense. But I was wanting a different experience and I really wanted to try other parts of the country. But my biggest thing was I'm an avid snowboarder. I need mountains in close proximity. The ocean is my happy place. I feel revived when I am near the ocean, uh, which I am now, thankfully. The first time I've lived this close to the beach and I will always live this close to the beach. So I needed mountains, I needed the ocean. I, I, need, I like the hustle and bustle. I like to be around people and things and live somewhere that's walkable and not to mention the weather. I do not like humidity and cold weather, I'm out. I'm out. I like to visit cold weather and then sayonara. Uh, and I love the sunshine. I get seasonal depression. So when it's gray outside, so San Diego does have May gray, June gloom, and it is gray for two solid months. It's like the sky has just closed up and it says, bye-bye. <laughs> See you in two months. 
because it's dark and gray and those months are actually pretty hard so living somewhere that it's really cold you can't really get outside you're not really getting that vitamin d you're stuck just doing indoor activities i couldn't do that lifestyle that wasn't for me so i ended up not moving out of california and I, i'm here so I have no reason to complain about the state income tax being high because there's nothing I can do about it. I made the choice to stay here, but it really is wonderful. And I truly believe San Diego is the ultimately the best city in California. It's an amazing place to live. You ask anybody what they don't like about living here. They mainly say homeless population, cost of living, because it is high to live here, and traffic. That Those are like the biggest uh, downfalls of living here. But whenever I ask people, because uh, I was actually, I asked a lot of people when I was, you know, gathering this information to create this video, I wanted to hear what others had to say. But at the end of having that conversation with them, they all said, you know what, I've lived here my whole life, I love it, I'm never gonna leave. Or, I just moved here, like I've been wanting to move here and I, I understand why everybody just raves about it because it's so great. People truly do feel very happy here. I've yet to have a conversation with somebody who is complaining so much about San Diego to where they just cannot wait to leave. Uh, not to say that that won't happen, but I personally haven't had that conversation with somebody with that much animosity towards living in San Diego. It's, uh, it's pretty great, but there are six negatives, six downfalls that I listed for you today, and I really do hope that that helped uh, gave you some insight, especially if you've been thinking about making the move here yourself. Uh, whether you are out of, you live out of state, or whether you live in California and you're kind of looking for a change, and you're thinking about San Diego, I hope this helped you a little bit. If you are somebody who cannot stand traffic, sitting in your car for 30 minutes and stop and go traffic to commute to and from work, is if that is not going to uh, ensure that your quality of life is uh, of the utmost importance in my book. So if traffic is gonna make it so your quality of life declines, then maybe we'll think about moving somewhere else. And that goes for a lot of other things too. Cost of living, if you're out of state and you're thinking about California, you really do have to take into account the extra income that you are no, you are no longer going to be taking home. And to, and to see if you can actually live within your means in San Diego with the additional costs associated with living here, whether that be taxes, just higher cost of living, housing, it's pretty high here as well. It's gone up about 20% in the last two years. And we've all seen the articles. San Diego is the most expensive place to live in the country. Those are what the headlines say. It doesn't say it's one of the most expensive. They all say it's the most expensive. And the reason why it's the most expensive is because wages cannot compete with property values. The job market is getting better and stronger. I do believe in five to 10 years that wages are going to go up because the job market's gonna get stronger. There's gonna be better jobs coming to San Diego. Right now, the Qualcomm, <laughs> a lot of people try to get into Qualcomm, a lot of engineering positions. Apple is, uh, Apple is in San Diego. There's a lot of biotech in San Diego and defense. Those are like the big, those are the jobs that are gonna have the higher wages that could somewhat compete with the housing market. But in a lot of situations, the, the jobs just, it doesn't pay enough, especially for a single person to buy a property. In most cases, you do need a dual income to buy a house here. Anyway, that was my list. That was my, my talk, my rant, uh, negatives about San Diego, but I feel like I ended up talking about more positives of San Diego than negatives. Well, maybe we'll have to try it again. Anyway, like I said before, whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, because we are happy to help you make that move to the, yep, mm -hmm, the best city in California. And as always, stay classy, San Diego.